What is going on guys? Welcome back for another video. And today we are gonna be doing a review on the mini Jeep from Tractor Supply that I picked up a week ago. And we're just gonna be going over the quality of everything, maintenance, what you should do, what to look for when you buy these machines, and some upgrades that you should consider, and overall a rating on these machines and what I personally think of them. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right. So the first thing we're going to do while jumping into this review is we're going to do a little walk around. Um, I'm just going to show you a few things, some features with this. So when you get this, um, obviously here you have your key electric start. Um, right here's your shifter, which it's all down to go into the forward gears and then up to, you know, downshift going into reverse. That shows your gear right there, which I can show you here in a second. Right there, neutral, and then of course, when you go into gear, it'll show which gear you're in. Um, right here, you're gonna have your blinkers, your lights, your tail lights, your speedometer, and your horn. Now that is a switch for an aftermarket light bar that I personally put on. Um, it's got mirrors. It does have a parking brake here, which you can just pull up so that you have your parking brake engaged. Now, of course, you have your spare tire and your uh, gas can in the rear, which is really nice. I actively use that gas can. So I don't know if you're supposed to, but I do, and it works great. Now, if we jump up here to under the hood, you actually have your engine. You have a 125cc motor under here with your gas tank. And for those of you wondering how it's driven, I'll show you under here. It's a big chain that goes all the way up to the front of the motor to the rear here now this is actually nice because both the tires spin and not just one so it does help with traction now under here you can see i have some wiring for some modifications um, i also upgraded the battery but it's pretty basic under here and it's actually cool that you can access the motor from under the hood now then we got that covered we're going to jump into the mods that i put on so far so first things first i put a light bar on obviously because the headlights are nice but if i'm in the woods or on the trail i want something a little bit brighter so i can see um which i did wire up here with a wiring kit right there straight to the battery um and then next i put a winch on you know which is nice so if you get stuck in the woods you can pull yourself out but the main reason I put this on was so that I could add weight to the front end here because when you're turning, the front ends are actually pretty light and adding that weight really helps keep the front tires on the ground and weighed down so you can turn a lot better. And then that, I have the control box right here. Um, I do have the controller behind the seat actually. But here I have the box, I have it all wired in. And, the, and for those of you wondering, this is all wired in on the same battery. So, um, you know, I, I would put a bigger battery if you're going to run this a lot. But for me, I'm not, so it works out great. So that's the modifications that I bought and put on this thing. Now we're going to jump into what I tinkered with to make this thing a lot better when I bought it straight from Tractor Supply. So the first thing I noticed when I got this Jeep from Tractor Supply was I noticed that the engine, it was kind of like lacking power, like it wasn't opening up all the way. So, you know, going up hills, I always had a downshift going a second and the top speed wasn't the greatest. Well, then I looked by the, the gas pedal and I noticed there was a pedal stop, like a little bolt that you can adjust back and forth, which is actually... A limiter so if you have kids you can adjust what they how fast they can go and how much power they got so for me i just took the bolt and i screwed it all the way back so i can open the throttle all the way which i'll show you right now so right here see that bolt that was screwed out about halfway when i had bought this and i just screwed it all the way back and now i got maximum throttle and it the performance went up significantly so if you get one of these that would be the first thing i would do is check that throttle stop because it'll make your experience on these 100 times better 
So the next thing that I noticed, um, I had my uncle and my cousin come over when we were riding all in this. And, you know, there's some heavier set guys. And when we would both ride in it, it was like 400 pounds, a little bit over. And I would notice when we'd sit in it, this the uh, back end would completely just squat down. So what I did is I went in the rear and the suspension is actually adjustable. And I, and I tightened those springs all the way up. And that helps significantly. So if you guys are adults and you're really looking into getting one of these, I would definitely uh, mess with the suspension in the rear because it's helped us significantly with the performance and also so you're not doing like a wheelie the whole time, you know. So I'll show you that and then um, also show you kind of for the front what I did and also some shocks that I ordered for this as well. So up under here, this is pretty simple. That silver part, you just put some vice grips on there and you twist and you can adjust it to whatever setting you want. So it's pretty straightforward and it helped a lot with the performance. Now as for the front springs, I actually left them alone because it's a pretty good combination with the winch sitting there. So I left those alone, but I ordered on Amazon. These are like 11 inch springs, I believe. And I ordered some 13 and a half, or maybe it was 12 and a half. I'm not sure. I'd have to check. So basically, I, I've got some bigger springs for the front, or for the front and the rear. And it'll help kind of jack this thing up and go for a little bit smoother ride as well. So right away, from Tractor Supply, if you're a bigger guy, you can jack those springs up temporary. But eventually, I would uh, definitely recommend ordering uh, bigger springs like I did. And the next thing that I would recommend when you get these from Tractor Supply or online, wherever you get them from, the shipping oil that they come with is actually really bad. And I noticed when I ran it, my engine kind of ran poopy. So I ran some Lucas synthetic oil made for wet clutches. And when you change that out, that's personally what I would recommend is 1040. And, um, it ran a lot better. The clutch was a lot smoother with shifting and everything. So first thing you do when you get it is I would definitely change out the oil and, uh, you know, just kind of do a little maintenance check, check all the bolts, change the oil, the oil filter and stuff. And that's what I would do personally when you get these things. Another main thing I would check on these two is when you're riding, I would make sure that your chain isn't rubbing on your case right here. Um, so basically in between rides, I would check that to make sure it's not rubbing because eventually if it starts rubbing, it can rub through your case and damage it. And you might need to buy a whole new engine or if you buy a side cover, you're going to have to split the cases and replace it, which is a bunch of work. So I would keep that in mind, keep an eye on that. And if it starts to rub, there is a few, uh, videos on YouTube where you could take some, uh, washers and space it out there. To keep it from rubbing which i might do a future video on later but that will come when the time comes that i have to fix that so definitely keep an eye on that check all your bolts keep your oil changed and this thing will be a great little runner for around the farm or wherever you're, you're planning on doing with it riding it down the street but overall i like it i give it a good eight out of ten um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to run a quick little video by of just what I bought here and a little review on it. A few things to look out for and what to do when you get them. Just so you don't wreck your machine or have a bad experience when you buy one. So, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out a little bit if you plan on getting one of these or if you're just curious. But, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Comment down below if you have one of these and if I missed something and forgot to mention it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.